Now, how many talks have you been to that uh, cover a, a broad area thinly? I've been to, to quite a few. And often, they're the talks that are cast as being for a broad audience. Right? So giving a talk to a broad audience is actually quite difficult because, um, uh, uh, because the audience you get is not going to know very much about your specific subject. So the tendency is to say very little about a lot. So that, that's this broad but shallow thing. I find that incredibly frustrating and boring when people give talks about, um, they just tell me a little about a lot. Because they don't tell me enough about anything to be interesting. So, um, my advice to you is even if you're giving a talk to a broad audience, and especially if you're giving a talk to a specialised audience, um, do a bit of this sort of um, broad stuff, like um, this stuff at the top here, sort of broad but, uh, uh, but shallow, but then choose your area and dive into it. If it's an audience that is not very, uh, uh, is not very specialised, then you may need to give a sort of tutorial presentation to get into the patch that you want to do. But that's okay. But you're giving them some technical meat to bite on. What you want to avoid at all, step, at all costs is just giving a survey of, I don't know, 18 different network protocols, and all the, um, all the audience gets is um, 18 different acronyms of things that they still don't really understand. You want to say, there are lots of different protocols, and I'm going to tell you in some detail about one particular one, and here's how it works. This is uh, um, quite, quite a common uh, error in my opinion. Uh, so, but not, not usually in conference talks. Usually uh, people do get to the technical meet quite quickly. The, 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 the alternative problem is they get too meaty too quickly and give you the uh, details without giving you the intuition. 